guys! Today we are talking all about the bugs, fish, and deep sea creatures you can find in the month of November in Animal Crossing New Horizon. This guide, of course, is only going to be talking about the Northern Hemisphere, and we'll be going over all the new and leaving animals for the month of November. If you find this guide at all helpful, please do leave a like and comment down below how difficult it was for you to find all these animals and who do you still have left to find? Let's go ahead and jump into our first category, the fish. New in November, we have the bitterling, which is going to be found in rivers with a tiny shadow, can be found all day long and sells for 900 bells. Next is the blowfish found in the sea with a medium to small sized shadow found from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. and sells for 5,000 bells. The blue marlin is going to be found specifically only off the pier with a huge shadow found all day long and sells for 10,000 bells. The football fish can be found in the ocean with a medium large sized shadow found from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. and sells for 2,500 bells. And lastly, the last new fish in November is going to be the tuna. Again, specifically found off the pier with a huge shadow found all day long and sells for 7,000 bells. Leaving us at the end of November, we have the barred knife jaw found in the ocean with a medium to small size shadow all day long and sells for 5,000 bells. The char is specifically going to be found on cliff top ponds with a medium to small sized shadow found all day long and sells for 3,800 bells. The cherry salmon, again, is going to be found only on cliff top river ponds with medium to small sized shadows all day long and sells for 1,000 bells. The golden trout, specifically found only on cliff top rivers with a medium to small sized shadow found from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. and sells for 15,000 bells. The little guppy can be found in rivers with a tiny shadow from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and sells for 1,300 bells. The mitten crab can be found in rivers with a small shadow from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. and sells for 2,000 bells. The neon tetra can be found in rivers with a tiny shadow from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and sells for 500 bells. The ray can be found in the ocean with a large shadow from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. and sells for 3,000 bells. The seahorse can be found in the ocean with a tiny shadow all day long and sells for 1,100 bells. And lastly, the zebra turkey fish can be found in the ocean with a medium to small size shadow all day long and sells for 500 bells. Moving on to our bugs, we only have three new bugs in the month of November. The first being the damselfly can be found flying around your island all day long and sells for 500 bells. Next, the mole cricket is back, can be found underground all day long and sells for 500 bells. This is one that you're going to have to listen for, for them to make noise and dig them up out of the ground in order to catch them. Lastly, the tarantula can be found running around on the ground from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. and sells for 8,000 bells. The tarantula, much like the scorpion, is one that you're going to want to sneak up on slowly and make sure you don't startle it so you don't get bit. And then leaving us at the end of November is going to be the cricket can be found on the ground from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. and sells for 130 bells. The flea is found jumping on your villagers, can be found all day long and sells for 70 bells. The long locust can be found on the ground from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and sells for 200 bells. The mantis can be found sitting on flowers on your island from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and sells for 430 bells. The migratory locust can be found on the ground from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and sells for 600 bells. The monarch butterfly can be found flying around your island from 4 a.m. to 5 p.m. and sells for 140 bells. The orchid mantis can be found only on white flowers from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
p.m. and sells for 2,400 bells. The rice grasshopper can be found on the ground from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and sells for 160 bells. The violin beetle can be found on tree stumps all day long and sells for 450 bells. And lastly, the walking stick can be found on trees from either 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. or 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. and sells for 600 bells. Our last category is going to be our deep sea creatures. New in the month of November is going to be the Dungeness Crab has a medium-sized shadow and moves moderately quickly with consistent movement, can be found all day long and sells for 1,900 bells. The Red King Crab has a large shadow that moves rather quickly all day long and sells for 8,000 bells. The Sea Cucumber has a medium-sized shadow with slow, consistent movements, found all day long and sells for 500 bells. The one I had most difficulty with this month was the sea pig with a medium shadow moves very quickly found from 4 p.m to 9 a.m and sells for 10,000 bells lastly the snow crab has a large sized shadow moving very quickly all day long and sells for 6,000 bells and leaving us at the end of november we have the chambered nautilus with a medium sized shadow moving with medium speed found from 4 p.m to 9 a.m and sells for 1,000 440 bells. Next, the Kazami Crab has a medium-sized shadow moving very quickly, found all day long, and sells for 2,200 bells. And lastly, leaving us at the end of November is going to be the Umbrella Octopus with a small shadow moving very quickly, found all day long, and sells for 6,000 bells. And that's it! All of the bugs, fish, and deep sea creatures you can expect to find in the month of November. Again, if you found this guide helpful, please do leave a like down below and let me know which animals you are still looking for this month. If you don't want to miss out on any future content or guides, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I will talk at you in the next video. Bye!